Later today, a familiar face will return to Nebraska Medicine's biocontainment unit to help celebrate its 10th anniversary. Dr. Rick Sacra, the first Ebola patient treated in Omaha, is back in town to see those who saved his life. Jenna James joins us now with a look at how years of research and teaching helped save him. Jenna. Yeah, Dave and Cerise, one of the biggest things that the biocontainment unit did, it helped develop practices that the rest of the world is actually using now, including like what I'm doing here involving the safety of the workers. Go ahead and get your boots to put your foot covers on first. Since it opened, the team has done quarterly drills to stay up to date on practices like dressing in head to toe gear. The directors here tell me they knew handling something like Ebola would be tough, so they drilled hard. And now it's become routine for these workers who say they're proud they were able to take part in creating procedures over the years and they look forward to continuing their research. In fact, our next drill is coming up in early April, and that will be a pediatric focused drill. We've been really working hard on building our pediatric capability for this unit, and we're one of very few that actually could care for a pediatric type patient. Now, these are the actual gloves that the doctors use. In fact, they put on three different pairs. Really hard to move your hands in these, by the way. But they tell me that having being able to develop practices like this has really changed the face of medicine for them, and they're very proud to be able to take part in that. Now, coming up in the next half hour, what does the future hold for the biocontainment unit in the next 10 years? Reporting live, Jenna Jane's WOWT 6 News.